Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jumping on the topics, may I begin to hit that like button? It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Producer Shabdan exposes the only way to stop artists from singing gun songs. Spice breaks silence after taking a break from Instagram. Beanie Man shows support to Shensia and Shensia responds. Ramesh goes all out for Shensia and her debut album Alpha. Bounty Killer breaks silence about the King of Kingston album being delayed. Spice, Massacre and Yaksta win big musically at the IRFM Music Awards show popcorn speaks on working with rapper jake and also his upcoming album great is he so the first thing we're going to talk about is beanie man supporting shensia and shensia responding to beanie man and actually letting the cat out of the bag you understand people now remember a few days ago when shensia performed at the jimmy kimmel show well a few hours ago beanie man took the time for actually reposted it on his IG status, you understand people? So he basically posts up that and he actually posted the um the flame emoji. So obviously he must say yes, Shensia, bless up, he must show support and I give her a strength and all of that. Now Shensia actually responded to Beanie Man by reposting what he reposted and she actually left a comment saying, Wait till they hear our song King and she put her head with the crown emoji, you understand? So Shensia made the people them know said they can expect to hear she and Beanie Man song very soon. And of course me did already know that because I kind of got through the whole tracklist for our debut album so I know she and Beanie Man have a song on it you understand people hopefully she shoot a music video for it and I also think that song will be more on the hardcore side because if you don't realize that Shensia has been doing like some pop type of music from the other day you understand and since we even depend this whole pop thing somebody did actually left a comment in which shensia actually responded to as well so the person say shensia is the perfect example of how people will put you in a box and try to tell you what you can and can't do it's sad really that people want to stifle her creativity and shensia respond by saying even if i wanted to i can't live my life to please anyone god has truly blessed me with so much talent to fulfill feel my destiny i just can't stop now if you're no longer a fan i'm okay with losing you i started this journey on my own i hope i inspire others to follow their dreams no matter what you see my people so that's our shensia officer so i mean she's okay with losing fans because she knows that she will gain new fans you see my people which to me still you have to kind of remember the people who are supported from the get-go you understand what i mean say if them not like the music no i'm also even see a person left a comment saying shensia's new music isn't good it's not even her she already had an international appeal with her dancehall vibe and music all she needs it was more push and good marketing for fans who knew her before this it's really hard for us to accept what we're getting now and obviously this person them not like the song with shensia put out now the pop type of music them prefer the long time shensia you understand the gunman vice shensia <laughs> But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this. Are you still a fan of Shensia or your move on now? Do you think she will make it big with the type of music that she's doing now? Leave it in the comment section. And also, we're going to talk about Ramesh right about now, as he seems to be going the extra mile to promote Shensia's debut album, Alpha. You understand, people? So basically, Ramesh posted up that photo that you're seeing on the screen. And if you notice, all of the vehicles are wrapped with Shensia's Alpha album cover. You understand what I mean, people? Which is definitely a good look, yeah from your manager and your support chains here you have to go all out for you, you understand so ramish basically you drive up and down and you don't know him a play shensia music and stuff he did actually post up some stuff on his instagram status but i don't know why i never get to take them down you understand i my fault still but he actually posted up that as me say and in the caption he said nothing normal a lie at shensia hashtag alpha march 11 at Ramish Entertainment roll out. You see it, people. So it's a good look still. I don't like. I like how Ramish got hard for Shensia because a lot of persons have them manager and them not go so hard for them when they put out an album. You know, you understand what I say? The only thing they do is get a little repost and thing. I want to talk about management team. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Dancehall Queen Spice breaking silence. Yes, people, remember, says Spice actually decided to take a break from the internet. And she decides that she now post on IG for a while. She's going to just load the internet because you don't know she feel targeted. And this comes after the song was released with the pastor brother name, Steve Blake. You understand the song name, Solid Grown and Ting. So Spice feel like said the pastor brother immature user for clothes and she does get in her feeling certain way and decides she's going to take a break because 
because it's like every minute she and somebody get in a some form of problem. You understand, people? So basically, she break her silence by just reposting. She never even make a comment still. She just reposted the song which I have with Nico Popo. You understand, people? And the song is currently trending. I don't remember what number it is. I think a number eight. No, it's a number 11. I lie, people. It's the number 11 trending on music right now. You understand what I mean? So Spice repost that basically telling the people them for go subscribe and thing. I remember say, Spice is not promoting solid ground you know, with the pasta. You know. She will promote this. She make the people them know plain and straight. Say, this is the only song she will promote right now. And this is her latest song. So she don't really want people to try to use her name for gain views and clout and them things about. That's what Spice Office says. You mean she just make that post. She don't really make no other post differently from that. You understand, people? So let me know what you guys think about this. And also, people, let me know if you don't like the song Popo Po with she and Nico or you don't like it. You understand? I feel like it sound good still. I don't like it. It was something different to it. And the message waiter saying, as a, like a young black youth living in America, you don't know how that goes as it relates to the Popo. Po. You understand, people? But well, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're gonna talk about producer shabdan speaking on the only way to stop the artist them from singing certain type of songs you understand people because you don't know say the government been hitting out well bobsy grange has been saying that your artist is need for easier for the whole of God song and them thing and only for other persons actually agree with that and stuff you see my people so i could get in our producer shabdan officer and you guys can tell me if you not agree in the comment section you see my people so it said dancehall producer shabdan says the only way to stop gun songs is to ban it dancehall producer linval shabba thompson jr says the only way gun songs can be stopped is if they are banned online and by the radio stations during an interview with dancehall mag thompson jr whose popularity is known as shabdan was initially hesitant to give his take on the recent comments made by Jamaica Prime Minister Andrew Holness, Minister of Entertainment and Culture Olivia Babsy Grange and the Queen of Reggae Marcia Griffiths among a host of other notable figures who have expressed concerns about the grimy and lyrical content in contemporary dancehall music boy I'm not really want to touch that one here now because here we are going now most of the artists them sing about what they say and what's happening around them and certain artists you will try and tell them certain things but it's like you can and talk to them, Shabdan said. And I like back in the days when producer would have talked to the artist and him have to listen to him. Them are artists and not listen to nobody. Them will vex with you and if them not voice it for you, them will voice it for another producer. So the only way them sang the Agostab is if the radio and internet ban it. He proclaimed, last month, Holness and his administration will continue to maintain its hands-off approach and will not be censoring any dancehall artists or their lyrical content, even if depraved or degenerate, but will instead utilize the usual gentle persuasion there are many people who feel the message has been diluted diverted and that though there is still talent the talent may not be directed towards the social good the prime minister had said and that is a concern what can government do it's a tricky issue. When government gets involved in these things, it tends to always create more problems sometime. In early February, during an interview with Television Jamaica, Anthony Miller, Marcia Griffiths pleaded with Jamaican musicians to record more positive songs. As according to her, music has proven time and time again to be the only tool capable of uniting the violence play country. For her part, Minister of Entertainment and Culture Olivia Babsy Grange called on Jamaican artists and songwriters to steer clear of Certain lyrics and instead use the island music to push the positivity for which dancehall and reggae have been long known and embraced globally. Shabdan Records, which comprises Thompson Jr. and Carlos Clark, became one of the most sought after production houses in Jamaica around 2019. Dancehall Mark further probed Shabdan about whether he felt responsible as a producer for the unsavory content in much of the new dancehall music being released. He firmly stated that he was not at all responsible and noted that certain lyrics been a single long time before my band from the early 80s and 90s you see it people so i'm not gonna read the entire article but do you think that's the only way for control certain type of lyrics in jamaica or if them ban it on the radio and ban it online now when you see when you talk about ban it online that is kind of tricky you know zine members say our government no control youtube you know you understand what i say so how would they ban it online them no control that them can control like what plays and they like irfm and them station that them can say them no one hear them the song the pan radio or upon the television but it now can stop on youtube well that are my point or my view on it you understand people but 
Let me know if you don't agree with what Shabdan is saying. Do you think that's the only way to stop the artist them from doing certain type of songs? Leave it in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Bounty Killer actually speaking on his King of Kingston album. And I remember the other day when I talked about Bounty, somebody left a comment at all about said they don't want to hear nothing about Bounty unless I talk about the King of Kingston album. I guess that person wanted to know when it had come out or... You understand what I said, people? So we have a small update, more I say, about this King of Kingston album. So let me get into this article so you guys understand what's going on. Is it my people? So the article says, Bounty Killer and his delayed King of Kingston album, everything are gone. Bounty Killer has affirmed that his King of Kingston album is still in the making despite having missed his proposed December release date. A few days ago, the dancehall star told a curious fan that everything was copacetic with the album after the follower asked, what go on for King of Kingston? Everything I go on for it, Bounty Killer said in response. The warlord in August last year had seemingly ended the speculation surrounding the release time for King of Kingston when he announced that his fans should expect a Christmas album. Bounty had initially announced in August 2020 that the album was in the works Weeks prior, the Living Dangerously artist said that the long-awaited album was 95.5% complete. December, however, came and passed and the album release did not materialize. Earlier in the year, Bounty had announced that some of the most iconic dancehall and reggae artists as well as several hip-hop legends would be featured on King of Kingston. Among them are Barrington Levy, Sanchez Chronics, his Alliance Pure 4 members, Bling Dog, Busy Signal and Wayne Marshall, Vibes Cartel, possibly Mavada, Richie Stevens, Buster Rhymes, and Snoop Dogg. He even expressed hope for a dream collab with reggae legend Bob Marley. King of Kingston is being executive produced by Marley's son, Damian Jr. Gang Marley. If it is released this year, the album will come exactly 20 years after the release of the Seaview Guides native Grammy-nominated Ghetto Dictionary, his last album, which was released by VP Records in 2002 and which featured 20 tracks including hits such as Mystery, High Grade Forever, Sufferer featuring Wayne Marshall and Pot of Gold featuring Richie Stevens and Arrow. In an onstage interview last year, Bounty had re-emphasized that King of Kingston was going to be another tour de force. The 49-year-old, who has long said he was in no rush to complete the album, had also pointed out that he was also cognizant of the fact that his fans were waiting with bathed breath for its release. Nevertheless, he had said he would only release King of Kingston when the time was absolutely right, as he always makes it a point of his duty to ensure that his album tracks are always meticulously written and produced before being put out for public consumption. But Bounty Killer has released several studio albums since Rose to Stardom in the early 90s. His first was the 15 tracks Roots, Reality and Culture, which was released in 1994 and consisted of hits such as Spy for Die, Kill for Fun, his breakout song Copper Shot and Gun Thirsty. So yes, people, basically Bounty Killer made the fans them know that so the album is still coming, you understand? Yes, it is basically way overdue now because the fans them even did want it before December. But sometimes you have to wait a little longer in order to get something that is going to be a masterpiece. You understand, people? I think this album will definitely be worth the wait. So don't give up, people. Make sure you support it when it comes out because, as I say, you have some people who talk about it. Hey, it takes so long. And when the album forward out, they not buy it. So make sure you go out there and support it. You understand? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the unruly boss Popcorn speaking on his latest song called Skeleton Cardier and also spoke about his album working with Drake and all of that. You see my people? So this is what the article say. Popcorn talks new song Skeleton Cardier working with Drake and upcoming album Great Is He. The OVO unruly duo of Canadian rapper Drake and dancehall artist Popcorn have teamed up again but this time to market sneakers. Naturally, Popcorn has the complimentary soundtrack for the Endeavor titled Skeleton Cardier, which made its debut on Friday. On Thursday, March 3rd, Drake released its first signature show, the Nocta X Nike Hot Step Air Terror. As we previously reported, Drake enlisted Popcorn and Skilly Bang for a campaign promoting the new line, which featured the two dancehall stars in their native Jamaica. Now we have a newly released campaign song produced by the British DJ Trio Fanatics and released via OVO 
sound, Skellington Cartier is also speculated to be a taste of what's to come on Popcorn's upcoming album, Great Is He. Speaking to Rolling Stone, Popcorn, whose given name is Andre Sutherland, says Drake has laid the groundwork for other international rappers to be encouraged to collaborate with Jamaican artists. Drake make a lot of rappers want to be more involved in Jamaica. Popcorn said when he goes there, it's proof. It's a stamp. The two who have had a working relationship for almost seven years have previously collaborated on Controller, which wasn't officially released, Twist and Turn and All That I Need of Popcorn Fixed Tape Album. In his talk with Rolling Stone, Popcorn hailed Drake for helping him to maximize on his potential. When I'm on the road with Drake, it's a totally different experience. It motivates me to just be in the stadium and watch a performance by Drizzy. He's just inspiring. To music lovers and fans, dancehall and hip-hop might be parallel genres, but to the everything nice DJ, they go hand in hand, which he believes is a relationship booster between him and Drake. Dancehall and hip-hop is the same thing. It's just different country, different time zone. We spread the same message. He further told Rolling Stone in the same bread. He says Skellington Cartier is also a testimony of his journey to success and a homage to the less fortunate youth in St. Thomas, where he grew up, where I'm from. A lot of youths can't even afford a bicycle, much less a car the year. When I was making forever, I was going through a lot of things personally, he added. As he works on his upcoming album, Great Is He, Poppy will once again be commenting on his social hardship. This time around, it's the same thing, and you've got the pandemic too, which is a whole different madness. So all those things is in the music as well. You see it, people? So big up to Popcorn. You see me? Some people say Popcorn are the face of dancehall when it comes to the international side for the man. You see me, people? So... You know, good things are going to be, good things are going for Popcorn, I should I say. Um, he's a well-respected artist by the hip-hop artist them and also the dancehall artist them respect him well. Most of them would have said respect Popcorn, the veteran them, you understand? So, it's a good look, you see me people. So, let me know what you guys think about this and also, where you think you can expect from Popcorn album Great Is E? What a name, Great Is E? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Spice Massacre and Yaksta, who won at the Reggae Mount IRFM Music Award. Is it more people? So this is what the article say. Spice Massacre Yaksta win big at Reggae Mount IRFM Music Awards. Reggae dancehall high roller Spice, Massacre and Yakstad scored big musically at the Reggae Mount Irie FM Music Awards on Tuesday. Spice, who was nominated in six categories, won three accolades including Female DJ of the Year and was a favorite of Irie FM Arden fans as she capped the Listener's Choice Award. Her Godong the collab with Shaggy and Sean Paul was also voted the best collaboration for the year. In addition to being the male DJ of the year, Massacre 438 album capped the album of the year award. The reggae experts who voted echoed the sentiments of Jamaicans that hyping would trump over flossing every time by showing Yaksa that they were confident that reggae slash dancer's future was safe in his hand. The Bush Lord was not only voted the best new artist of the year, but also tied with Dexter Dabs for Sing J of the year. Shensia was voted the female singer Sing J of the year and the best dressed female while Beanie Man won the best dressed male award. Christopher Martin copped the singer of the year award. New artist Tentic also triumphed as his Roll Deep track won song of the year while Kevin Downswell was voted the gospel artist of the year. Also on the virtual winners podium were Shaggy who won the reggae ambassador awards and Marcia Griffiths who won the living legend award as well as Bounty Killer who won the humanitarian award. Production wise Jordan McClure Chimney Record won the producer of the year award while chemist record and rahif music one matic which featured skin gunman shift cop the rhythm of the year award the term dolly popularized by shensia also was voted the slang of the year dirt bunks a dance crafted by teenager tyreek and endorsed and immortalized in song by lali unsurprisingly won the dance of the year award a grateful lali took to instagram to revel in the accomplishment he shared with the teenager and street block records creators of the song beat not a man of many words, but I want to say Tyree, Dirt, Street Block, well done. Dirt Bounce, Dance and Dancing Song of the Year. Thank you, Irie FM. 
at Irie FM for the acknowledgement. Lali, who arrived in person to collect the award, noted ZJ Sparks, known for her large following of dancehall stars and producers, and for keeping fans in the loop for the latest developments in dancehall and reggae on Instagram, was also voted the social media influencer of the year. Oh, wow! Thank you guys for voting for me in the Reggae Month Irie FM Music Awards, the return, honoring the music representing you. Gosh, my shorter words. Again, thanks to everyone who voted. She noted in response on her Instagram page where she shared the Irie FM announcement. An elated yaksta who also performed at the live award show at Irie FM took to Instagram hours later to count his blessing in a lengthy note. So yes, people, congratulations to everybody who win. Oh, you understand what I say? It's a blessing, you know, people. I'm telling you this. This might not be a Grammy Award, Zine, so maybe a lot of people might not talk about it. But we have to big up our own things. You understand what I say? Our own award show we keep in Jamaica, we have to big it up the same way. You understand what I say? As I say, some people never talk about it, but you don't know the thing. I talk about it. Congratulations to all of the people who win. Spice and you don't know the thing. Spice I take a break from social media, so maybe that's why she don't post it up. Because if you don't go up on her page now, you don't realize so she not post cars. You don't know the thing of people she feel targeted right about now. You understand? But we're not going to dwell upon that. Congratulations to everybody and thing and thing. You see it? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out.